All right guys, welcome to another video. And today is a real special day for me. It's February of 2020. Today I put in the last payment for my 2015 911 GTS. I'm the original owner of this car. And today it's finally paid off. <laughs> celebrating by making this video. I also want to talk about, you know, my last service visit at the service center and go over what they found and what it cost. So this is a 2015, has 32,000 miles on it after five years of ownership. I use it for a lot of different things. Grand tours, like I'm today I'm filming this in beautiful Baltimore City. I live in New York. My wife and I are super comfortable on long trips with this car but I also have taken it on the racetrack, Watkins Glen. I used it for a number of autocrosses here in the Northeast. And the most fun I've had with it really is just out on back country roads. The twistier, the better. This car handles great. And the exhaust note of that naturally aspirated transmission, oh, it's just great on the back country road. <laughs> jump into that last service that I did a couple of months ago. All right guys, let's talk about the annual service that was performed in December of 2019. The grand total came to $1,415. That's after some discounts. So what did I have performed? I had the annual oil filter change. They also put in like, you know, brand new windshield wipers, oil filter, seals, fuel system cleaner, all that. Came to about $700. Since it's been a couple of years since the last brake flush, they also performed a brake flush this go around. That was about $400. We also installed the winter tires on this car for that for the winter season, of course. I used the same set of wheels, so they took the summer tires off the wheels and put the winter tires on and they charged about $200 for that service. They found that they needed to do an alignment uh, and that came up to about $350. So it seemed all very routine. So the grand total after some discounts came to about $1,400. After five years of service, there's really no real problems with this car and that's awesome. The one thing I think I will have done is probably in the spring because I've been doing so much driving from New York to Baltimore to DC and that sort of thing. Uh, there's a couple of small, small little chips on the front windshield due to, you know, you're on the highway, you know, a truck is in front of you and just drops a couple of rocks that spring right up and hit the windshield. That's what happened. I could see it happen. I could see the rock coming like, ah, there's no way I could avoid it. Bang, it hits the windshield. I'll probably get the front windshield replaced. So I'll probably do that in the spring. I should also add that the Expel paint protection film on this car has been performing fantastically. There's no evidence of any kind of debris hits or anything like that on the front of this car. So it's performing great after all this time. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this car after five years. It's, it's, really been, uh, it's really been great, no real problems. So this car has been a great all around her. And you know what? I don't have a desire to trade it in. Now I hesitated there for a second because there are some beautiful cars out there. In fact, one of the reasons, although I love this GTS, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's been great. The one car is a, that's a dream car of mine is the GT3 Touring, which has a lot of similar characteristics of this car. It doesn't have a wing on the back, although I'm not mad at GT3s with the wing but the GT3 Touring keeps that classic silhouette shape, but it has the GT3 underpinnings with the 500 horsepower manual transmission. Mm. That would be the one car I would move up to away from this GTS, but those are hard to come by. So I'm super happy with this GTS for this past five years and barring a GT3 Touring coming my way, I hope to keep this GTS uh, for many more years. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 2015 GTS ownership after five years. It's been awesome. Until next time, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.